Students in the Esteline School District reported for school August 18th. As the new school year began, it was filled with changes due to the coronavirus. The school district offered three options to ensure every parent could have a feeling of security when it came to their student getting an education safely. Those options include normal in-class learning, online learning, and hybrid learning. Um, so in Esteline, our hybrid learning plan is um, we'll send a device home with your student, and if your student is um, at home and they're going because they have to be there or they choose to be there, it doesn't matter. Um, they get, we set up Google Meets for every class and they just have to log in at that class. Students then are able to video chat into the classroom and still hear the teacher's explanations and take part in certain classroom activities and interact with their friends. We want to keep kids in our district and we want to keep that social interaction and those relationships together and so that's kind of why we went with the hybrid learning. One student currently in the hybrid program is Will Schmidt. He believes this type of learning is beneficial to him. Um, I, I kind of prefer online learning just because most of the time it allows me to work at my own pace. Whereas with per, like in-person school, you know, it's a set amount of time every day. You know, you have to be there seven hours a day for five days of the week. Schmidt's parents didn't feel comfortable sending Will and his brothers to school without more mandated protection in place. Every parent was given the option of how they wanted their students to learn. Belden believes that things like this happen in life and you must be able to be flexible. We're just going to go with the flow and we're going to adjust as we need. Being flexible is the most important part and you know what, I think that's a learning experience in its own because kids need to learn how to be flexible. The Esteline School District wants their students to help keep each other safe by encouraging masks, wiping down classrooms throughout the day, and taking temperatures before coming into school. For South Dakota Public Broadcasting, I'm Jackie Hendry.